I am. My name is Aisha and today I'm going to be doing um, another DNA video. <laughs> I already did one of these uh, like a little over a year ago and I did it with Ancestry DNA and that was an interesting video. It is one of my most popular videos on my channel. Um, which, I mean, doesn't surprise me. I feel like a lot of people love to know about people's ethnicities, people's culture, etc, etc. Um, I know I do, that's the whole reason why I did the DNA test. Um, Ancestry DNA said I was 51% Middle Eastern, I'm reading it off my computer, 36% uh, Africa Southeastern Bantu, and 13% Africa North, and if you don't know me, I have only ever known that I'm Ethiopian, ever. Uh, my family history, for the most part, all Ethiopia. And specifically, I come from the tribe of Harar, or the city of Harar, and um, it's a very, very small tribe. There's like, I don't know, less than 30,000 people that speak the language in the world, which is insane. Um, it's a very, it's, it's a dying breed, <laughs> so we're very small. So we're very like, we take pride in our culture. Um, which is why that shocked me so much and I'm like listen, I need to do some more investigating so I ended up ordering from uh, What's it called 23andMe? Because a lot of people in my comments actually recommended that I try 23andMe instead of Ancestry DNA So I purchased it. I did the whole spitting test uh, You could see that in my vlog back in like November and I've honestly I've had these results for so long I just totally forgot to film this video. So that is what I'm doing today. That was a hella long intro I'm sorry, um, but if you're still not subscribed to my channel Please subscribe down below join the fam I'd love to have you here and give it a big thumbs up and yeah, let's get into this I have my reports just kind of on my phone. Hopefully you can see that it says your reports are ready I don't know if that's focused but anyways I'm gonna click view my reports and then we shall see and then once I go through these I have seen them before this isn't gonna be a surprise to me but once I do these I'll kind of do a compare and contrast on like the pros and cons of ancestry DNA of 23andMe and kind of what I would suggest I just went into the ancestry reports if you can see I will have screenshots of this or at least I will try to have screenshots of this but this is the straight up stuff that they gave me. So it says my ancestry reports. Um, it says that my ancestry composition is 91.6% East African. That is way more accurate than what ancestry DNA gave me. So already I am really loving 23andMe and I was very happy to see that. Um, and that is what it was true. Now, what I actually, you know what, let's let's continue with 23andMe and then I'll explain a little bit more about um, what I feel about Ancestry DNA. So anyways, over here, and I'm just gonna screenshot this. That is like all of the compositions. So yeah, it says I am 92% Sub-Saharan African. So within that it says East African and under that it says Ethiopia. So it actually says specifically what country it is. I know a lot of people confuse me for Somali or for actually it's mainly just Somali <laughs> but um, yeah it actually does say 91.6% Ethiopian and it says point or 0.2% West African and 0.3% broadly sub-Saharan African so I'm not really sure what sub-Saharan African is but I think that's around the same region the 0.2% West African is actually a little surprising but at the same time not really because Africa like I feel like people moved back in the back in the years, but I mean the important part is that it says 91.6% Ethiopian So not that I needed like proof, but it is nice to kind of see it in writing um, And also when you do these spitting tests like you don't put in any information about yourself all they're knowing is your name your address and your spit so it's not like they'll be like, okay I think this is what she is like that's all they're judging it from Anyways, all the other percentages, it says um, I'm 6.9% West A Western Asian and North African. So North African and Arabian is 5.6%, Western Asian is 0.2%, and broadly Western Asian and North African is 1.1%. So I'm guessing the 5.6%, I guess I'm not really Middle Eastern at all, the 5.6% um, North African, I would assume that is Egyptian because there were a lot of Nubians in Egypt um, and then also I know a lot of people I know there were settlers like 
that moved from where I'm from in Ethiopia, Harar, to Egypt. So I think that has something to do with it. I can't be 100% sure. And then it says I'm 0.5% European. Um, I don't know. I don't know what that could be to be honest, but it's so little it really doesn't even make a difference. And then it says I'm 0.6% unassigned. So that is basically it for my composition. Your girl is Ethiopian. I have a little bit of North African in me, which again, I said is probably Egyptian or something like that. Um, and yeah, so it says this, what I also actually really like is it shows your ancestry timeline. So it shows like how many generations back, um, like the areas you're from are, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'll show another screenshot of this as well, actually. Um, but it says one to two generations, uh, East African. So, and then it shows back four generations. So four to seven generations ago, um, that's where the North African came in. And then the Western Asian was five to eight plus generations ago. And then the Western African is six to eight generations ago. So that's the smallest. And then it goes Western Asian, then North African, then East African. So that's quite interesting. All pretty much African though, which I'm very happy about. Go Africa. <laughs> and then it shows like your chromosomes and stuff, but I don't really understand that stuff. I also got the health results. So that's another thing that I really love about Ancestry DNA. You can get your health results to see what genetic stuff is in you. So like, wow, I'm sounding like a bimbo in this video, <laughs> but um, it could basically just test you for certain like diseases and stuff like that. I didn't really want to check that, so I just clicked I don't want to know um, because Allahu Adam, only God knows what I'm going to have, you know, and I don't want to freak myself out by knowing now. Um, but it did tell you things like if you're lactose intolerant, stuff like that. It did say I'm likely intolerant. Oh, okay, so this is actually really interesting. Um, it shows you the scientific results for the... Um, like ethnicity composition. So it shows Africa, or sorry, under East Africa, it shows Ethiopia, Somalia, Eritrea, Kenya, and Sudan. Um, but it shows that the match, it actually shows like the match strength. So maybe I can just like show you guys this way. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but there's like dots and stuff. And then, oh, there you go. So you can see like the highest match is Ethiopia. And then it has, um, I think, two or three dots for Somalia. So even that's actually really interesting. It does make sense because the area in Ethiopia that we're from, Harar, it is closer to Somalia. Like it's, yeah, it's pretty close to Somalia. So that would make sense. But it is saying the highest match strength is Ethiopian, so. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, okay, so my suggestion to you guys, if you are of like, Okay, first of all, what's the price difference? I don't even know what the price difference is. I think Ancestry DNA, I paid like 130 bucks, but I think now they're selling it for like 100. And then for 23 and me, to be honest, I don't really know how much I paid, but it was probably around the same amount, to be honest. Like, I think it was around the same amount. I'll have the prices down below for you guys. Um, but I would say if you are of like European descent or, if you are of maybe even Asian descent, I'm not really sure, but de definitely like if you're like North American or um, like European, Ancestry DNA will be really great because what 23andMe doesn't do that Ancestry does, um, they match you with like people that may relate to you in the world that have done the test before or that they have records of, which is really cool. Obviously it doesn't work for me because not a lot of Africans have registered in those types of things. So um, for me personally, I actually really recommend 23andMe for, especially for people that are African and don't really know if they have any European in them. I think 23andMe will be better, especially for East Africans. Um, I think they have a lot of data and I don't really know if what I'm saying makes sense, but I just, I really liked 23andMe in general. I like that they have health reports, although I hear that health reports aren't particularly accurate with DNA tests and stuff, but I mean, it's good to know, I guess. If you have done Ancestry DNA before and you have a couple extra coins, then I would say it is worth it to do 23andMe and kind of just compare and contrast. I am very happy about these results. I'm happy that it did say, you know, 92% East African because I take pride in my Ethiopian culture and my Harar culture. 
So yeah, that's about it for this video guys. Um, sorry it took so long for me to do. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give me a big thumbs up. And if you guys have ever tried any DNA tests before, definitely let me know um, down below. Let me know your compositions. If you are East African, let me know what your experience was because I know we can be kind of mixed, I guess. I guess that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I will have the links to both Ancestor DNA, the prices, and 23andMe and the prices down below. And that is all. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.